Let's add custom ore generation to our mod. Alright, we found us back in the you once more in this tutorial. We're going to be adding a custom ore generation to our mod. And this is actually also a fairly straightforward process because what I have for you is a great class that basically does all of the heavy lifting that you will be able to copy over. All of the code is available in the description below, GitHub repository or individual gists. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a new class here called the ore type. And this is actually going to be an enum. And in here, we are basically going to define what the max vein size, the min vein size, the height, and also the veins per chunk is for each of our different, well, uh, ores that we want to specify. This is a little irregular, let's say. So this is also a creation of mine. This is not necessarily how you would do it. But first of all, we're going to copy over the fields that we're going to need here. And then what we're just going to do is we're going to generate, first of all, a constructor with all of those fields. Totally fine here. And then we're also going to generate some getters for all of our fields as well, because we all need that. And then we need another getter, which is just going to be the get right here. I'm, I've just copied this over. So once again, everything, of course, is available. This simply basically gets the or type based on the block that you pass in there. Then I'm also going to just copy over both of my different things. So this is basically how you would do it, how you would define each of the different or types. Just for the sake of argument, I also have the titanium block in here, you can see, and also the titanium ore, of course. Once again, you can also have multiple ones. So I can have the titanium ore you know, twice here, right? So maybe with a different configuration here, I say, actually, you know what, let's spawn this a little bit lower and stuff like that. So maybe I want the titanium ore to also spawn in the nether, for example, just as an idea. And then I could define another one with the same block that works totally fine. Now this is done. If you want multiple ones, you just add those here. So those are two. Once again, the last one is always ends with a semicolon and in between, they always have to be ending with a comma. And then let's make the mod or generation class mod or generation. And once again, I'm actually going to copy over the entire class because this is a long class in this case. So this is actually very like there's a lot of stuff in here and I'm trying to try to explain everything that is in there. The generate or me ors method is going to be called in the world generation events in just a moment. And you can see I have a lot of methods that you can call in there. You can basically um, specify where you want everything to spawn. Spawn or in overworld in given biomes. I just give the specific biomes, the specific biomes where I want this to spawn, done. Same with the spawn in all biomes. We can say, hey, spawn in a specific biome. So I can make sure that everything, you know, is separated. And I believe that those cases are probably going to cover probably about 95% of what you would ever need. So for example, if I wanted the titanium ore to spawn in the dark forest, and let's say I also wanted to spawn in, let's say, for example, you know, the beach biome, I could just do this, bam, done, right? And I can just add multiple ones. If I have multiple different biomes where it should spawn, I can just add multiple ones and just keep going basically. Now the Crimson Forest in this case actually wouldn't work because I believe that the Crimson Forest is actually something that's in the nether. So I would have to change the level stem here to nether. So that's also very important. But otherwise, this pretty much just basically does all of the heavy lifting. So this is once again, a class that is done and was made by myself. So this is just something that you can basically copy over and just to take a look at this and use it for yourself with some Java knowledge. I'm sure that most of this will actually be fairly straightforward. This is nothing too crazy. So um, yeah, that's the general gist. And you can see here, for example, get veins per chunk. So this is where the veins per chunk come in. And then also up here where we have this, you can get the max height and the min height. So this is basically how you do it with a range decorator configuration. And then we have to pass in the min height and the max height here. So that's basically the general idea. Right, so let's call this now very important, we actually have to call this first. So mod or mod or generation dot generate ors with the event or passing this event is of course, also very important because the event basically determines in which biomes those spawn. So that's basically why we do need the event here. And we need to spawn this, you know, before because if I actually take a look here, I should have the exactly right this underground ors. And you can see those come before the vegetal decoration. Therefore, we actually need to call this beforehand. So I found that if you put it afterwards, then it does not work. But whatever the case may be, the code, of course, once again, is available to you. So let's see if it works. And of course, don't forget to create a new world for this because once again, we've changed the world generation. 
All right, for fans, that's in Minecraft, and let's just teleport to the Dark Forest. And oh my lord, I'm actually underground here. Let's just go into spectator mode and let's see if we can find titanium ore. All right, so here we are. I actually fi finally found it. So it was uh, actually way higher up than I actually anticipated here. So that's um, something that's very interesting. But actually, it isn't that high up, to be honest, but still. So there it is, and we can actually see. It actually does not extend down too far, but there we go. I guess that's going to be it but it does spawn so that's the main thing here that's basically the important part and I actually use the fill command right here I will actually put this under the in the description below this is very useful this basically just you know replaces all of the stone in a particular chunk here and it just makes it air so that you can very easily find specific ores this is very useful for finding you know ore generation basically right and that is it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one so yeah